The Campbell Handicap is next. We missed the first part of the card. The race runner did try and get it back up, but it won't work that way. And we're away on racing, and do it again. Here's the first one to show for all the Satyam or Padre Hogan on the close nearest to us, but it's going to be Little Miss Woosh that's going to go on into the lead, and we've got far enough to go in this to be able to get a name check for most of them anyway. So Little Miss Woosh is in the lead for Martin Leadham. Jack Cherry is second for Stu Gray, who's also in third with Deputy Code, then Dee Dee on Star and the Orange Sleeves for Alex Cherry is next. Then next to that one, the two shades of green. We've got Nashville Cracker for Vinnie Gerrard. Then next to that one, Rise All-Star. That's either going to be Thomas Rogers or James Shea. And the one on the outside of the yellow, Do It Again, is either going to be Satyam or Padre Hogan. Uh, colour clashes with those two and at uh, the back spread eagle for Graham Clutterbuck so that's your field then nine and a half furlong still to go and Little Miss Woosh has whooshed on into the lead from Jack Cherry in second Deputy Code is in third so the commentators one two three at the moment with uh, Nashville Cracker back in fourth then Rise All Star and Dee on Star and then do it again and finally spread eagle the back marker so Little Miss Woosh is in the lead racing downhill and into the final mile now from the grey Jack Cherry in second and Deputy Code back in third, Nashville Cracker is fourth and then Rise All Star and De Leon Star and then finally do it again and Spread Eagle's going to try and pass the entire field, so passing the seven furlong pole and a little Miss Woosh trying to do it from the front, Jack Cherry, the grey is in second, just being pulled out to go around the outside pulled out wider, that's still his deputy code, getting closer to them is Nashville Cracker and then a gap of three lengths to the rest of them are virtually in a line but little Miss Woosh is still the leader from Jack Cherry getting closer in second deputy code looks like he's running itself in a cul de sac in third. Nashville Cracker is back in fourth. Gap back to De Leon Star and do it again. Little Miss Woosh being asked to quicken as Jack Cherry closes in second. In third place is Deputy Code. Nashville Cracker's in fourth. Do it again. He's trying to run on. So too is De Leon Star. There's four furlongs still to go. Plenty of time to make the ground up yet. And Little Miss Woosh is in the lead by two. To Jack Cherry, Deputy Code. Nashville Cracker now looking at danger. Also trying to come out of the back of the pack. He's Rise All Star. But it's still Little Miss Woosh with three to go. Little Miss Woosh leads by two or three lengths. Deputy Code moves into second. Jack Cherry is third. Then comes Nashville Cracker. De Leon Star. Rise All Star. Do it again. Spread Eagle to the back. They're beginning to get close on this leader there. With two furlongs to go. And Little Miss Woosh is about to be swamped by Deputy Code and Rise All Star. And then Nashville Cracker and do it again. Little Miss Woosh hanging on in the lead bravely. But they're now about to be taken up the furlong pole. It's Deputy Code that goes on. Deputy Code from Rise All Star. Little Miss Woosh has got nothing left. Do it again. He's trying to close. But it's Deputy Code. Deputy Code in the lead from Rise All Star, Deputy Code's hanging on, Deputy Code looks like he's going to take it, is it going to be a quick fire double for Stu Gray? It certainly is, Deputy Code has taken it, and well, they say a lot of bosses don't like you wait ages for a winner, and then you get two one after the other. A late surge, a late season surge for my National Hunt commentating colleague Stu Gray then so Deputy Code takes it for Stu Gray do it again for Satyam was second Rise All Star for Thomas Rogers third Nashville Cracker for Vinnie Gerard fourth and De Leon Star for Alex Cherry was fifth